Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so deer rifle season in Oklahoma ended uh, a couple days ago, something like that. Um, and I was very fortunate to be, able to, to be able to go back home and do some hunting down there in Oklahoma. Um, I call it home. It's where I grew up. It's not really home. Home right now is somewhere else. But basically, you know what I mean. And you know what I mean. Um, but to go visit family, uh, do some hunting and stuff like that. So I did not get, I got a bunch of footage, okay, a bunch of footage, mainly with my um, iPhone, and I got some GoPro stuff, and of course, some of the shots, the video shots of my shooting shots turned out okay, um, but some of them, it really irks me that they did not turn out well, like the deer would move out of focus, or out of camera, after I got it set up, and took forever to get it set up, and then they move out of camera, and then I'd shoot, and then I'd no, I didn't get it, but I got some of it. Um, we got a couple deer, my, me, my brother, and his girlfriend. We got several deer. Um, really, we really enjoyed just doing it. To me, hunting is—it's more than just going out and killing animals. As much as I just I like to shoot stuff, it's more than that. Um, that's why it's called hunting versus—it's it, it, called hunting versus shooting. Because if I want to go shooting and make sure I get some trigger time, I'll go to the range and I'll blast away at steel and targets and just have fun and shoot. If I want to go hunt, it's a completely different thing. Hunting to me is just a very relaxing time to just get out and get away from things. Bringing the camera and everything along. I was on my phone with me anyway, but the other, the GoPros and all that stuff and trying to get things set up, it kind of took away a little bit of the relaxing aspect of just getting away from everything and just sitting there. Sometimes my brother and I, when we go out and hunt, we won't get anything because basically we'll sit there and just talk to each other and fall asleep. You know, it's super cold in the morning, so you just get out there, and sometimes I'll just fall asleep. And it, that's part of the experience for me, is just getting out of way and just relaxing. No stress. And if you don't get anything, you don't have to gut it, you don't have to process it, and you still got to spend all day out in the middle of wherever. So, that's how I see hunting. We were able to get some, so we did go and do the whole processing and stuff. I didn't take video of that. We don't do anything special. We skinned the deer with a truck. I think I put that on Facebook last year, but anyway. So, here's some video footage. I might voiceover on some of them kind of explain what's going on but just enjoy the footage um if y'all are hunting be safe out there stupid stuff can happen all right my brother shot himself that's another story ha! maybe i'll let him tell that story sometime um but he did that before i did mine so he's the he's the first idiot um but anyway y'all be good you be safe enjoy the the video and uh see you next time All right, this is the last day that I went hunting, and as you just saw, that was the only deer that I killed. My brother came out later on, and I believe it was one of the deer that runs off here in a little bit, uh, but it ran off towards the far left, out of focus there, out of the screen, out to 400 yards, and he dropped that sucker with one hit. I call it halfway luck, and then halfway he was using my rifle, which is the Mark 12, and that was all tuned up and everything. And uh, we dialed it in and ranged it and everything, and he, he dropped it real easy. Um, but this is the only deer that I got. And if, as you can see, I shot, and the deer are still out there. There's not very good camera footage, but they're out there. And they were more concerned that the deer that I shot was just sitting there and that it did not run away. Um, some of the deer barely even noticed. I think they heard her hit the ground more than they heard anything else, and they just walked around. The buck that was chasing her... It, it, as you can see, I mean, it keeps looking at her and you know, going back, going forth. It's just trying to figure out what the world happened. None of them are looking at me, though. That's what's crazy. Um, and it's awesome. That, that's the super advantage to using the suppressor because all the other deer, they're not, they're not scared. They're not stressed out or anything. So, I mean, you're not stressing them out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great thing. And then also, I don't have to wear hearing, hearing protection. So, anyway. That deer, I did not get a picture of it, but I dropped her. I shot her right between where she would have had antlers, but she was a doe, so she didn't have antlers. But I shot her right basically between the eyes and dropped her straight down. Here in a minute, you're going to see I'm going to take a shot. 
at the uh, the buck and I guess maybe I got a little overconfident but it's very interesting and I'll show I'll do a replay of it here in a second um, whenever I shoot it but um, it's very interesting to see what happens I'll tell you about it in a second All right, so look real close here. He's gonna turn, and I'm gonna fire, and look at this. It's crazy. From all I can tell, I nicked the antler on the stupid buck, and it ricocheted and hit the dirt. I think that, I mean, that's why I did not take a second shot. There, there's, it, it hung around for a little bit, kind of walked off into the woods, it got scared. Um, it hung around, uh, but, <laughs> It didn't know where the shot came from. It obviously was not injured to the point that where I needed to shoot it again to put it down. It wasn't injured at all. It's just an antler. I hit the antler. It was crazy. Anyway, this here and a couple more clips are coming up where there's just an abundance of deer. So just enjoy this stuff. And then I think the last part is going to be my brother's girlfriend's uh, her shot, which is an awesome shot. But that's coming up here in a minute. All right, anybody that's going to hunt her or that has ever hunted will tell you that that was a good shot. It's going to move around here in a second. It took it a, just a second to bleed out, but she hit that thing right through the vitals right where she needed to. Um, and that was her first time shooting that gun, her first time hunting deer, period. Um, and you can hear right before she shot, she made sure that that was a clean shot. And just and right after she had confirmation of that, she, she put that bullet right where she needed to. So kudos to her. She did really, really well. I don't think it came out. But... 
Uh, you blew it. That was super good. Super, super good. Yeah, it's frothy. Anybody that ever tells you a 223 won't take down a deer or isn't big enough to take down a deer, they need to see this stuff, okay? Because if it's shot placement is everything, and that's in any kind of hunting. And as you can see, the, that free ammunition 77 grain 556 stuff really did its job. It really, really did well.